Hey guys, this is a quick little video. Um, something I learned today thanks to a very patient admin. I have a problem. So eventually, when my campaign is ready, I want to be able to uh, have two instances. One for me and one for the stream and my friends. So uh, there's one problem. Uh, running two instances with mods is quite a faffle. Um, so the problem is if uh, I have one instance open and I want to open a second instance, I go here and uh, error. Now, if I boot up the game from the directory, uh, another error. Um, it will boot up, but uh, there's one problem. Plugins aren't enabled, so uh, there's quite a simple fix. So, um, what you're going to need is... Uh, it's, it's not that. What you're going to need is you're going to need a command. Now, you'll need to take away the the voch part, because, of course, that is not what yours will be. Yours will be... I want to go to this computer, C drive, users and you don't want to grab your profile from that um, you will just replace your user with your user and then that will be not done you just want to copy that have that ready um, also you will need to put your directory for Steam but we'll, we'll do that in a second it's super easy so you want to go to your directory for the game which is simply right clicking on Telspy go to manage browse local files and there you go, you've got it. As as easy as that. So, you just grab that directory. Then you get this here. And you just wanna have it. So you have it one minute. What am I doing? No, it goes back here. <laughs> Look at me being stupid. So you wanna put your directory, and we put it here, talespire slash talespire.exe, and then you wanna copy that whole lovely lot. Next, you want to create a shortcut. Right click and click create shortcut. Once you have your shortcut, go into properties, go to where it says target and copy and paste the above code. Originally I did this in PowerShell and then the admin, yeah, help me <laughs> make it a lot easier. So now whenever you boot up the game from here on this shortcut, which I've also added one of these to my desktop, we will now have a second instance, and guess what? It's got plugins. How do we know it's got plugins? Well, for one, it's running the plugins. And number two, once the game does launch. My computer's kind of uh, screaming at me right now. Uh, as I have two instances of a game open, and I'm recording with OBS. So it'll be fun when I get to the actual campaign. So, we have our game here. What we're going to do is we're now going to get a server code. So, we'll generate a code. Copy, go to here, begin, join campaign, and join. And um, we now have two instances running. We'll set this one to player. All right, so we now have two instances. I can, you know, move around. I can move a piece and I'm one screen, you know, because it's running on the same thing. So that is all I can see, which is really, really nice. So, um, yeah, that's it. You've now got two modded ones. And just to prove that mods are working, let's shift P. And we can see that a plugin is, in fact, working. If we get rid of that and then do, I think it's right control one. Yeah, set real to camera person one. I'm still learning this, this, this mod. And then we'll uh, grab this here. It's, uh, sorry, shift L. Was it control L? It's one of them. And then we will grab this image and send to person one. And, uh, well, that, that should have worked. Well, you know, I haven't quite figured this mod out yet. But, <laughs> but you can see either way, the mods do come up. So it is technically working. Even, oh god, oh, oh god. Uh, 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 but yeah, there you go. Super easy, super quick. Um, and yeah, hope you uh, don't have any problems. If you do, let me know in the comments. See ya.